We're gonna do some fabricating. Fix up this weir that's gonna go in the pond. We wanna get the pond going. So let's get going. <laughs> kind of in a nervous mood here. Um, I've got to modify, I've got to actually build a better waterfall weir. This weir used to be a, uh, a lawn roller that you pulled behind a tractor to fill the full water and then just drove around the yard, flatten the yard out, lawn roller. And uh, I guess it stayed out over winter one of my neighbors and uh, cracked or something. At any rate, it was it was no good anymore. So I uh, I took it from him, stored it for about a year. I figured I was going to use it for a rear. Anyway, I cut it lengthwise, did a bunch of stuff. Polyethylene is weldable. Uh, you can weld it with heat. You can weld it with a propane torch. Uh, any, anything like that. I use a torch mostly because it's, it's easy, it's accessible, it's what I have at hand. Um, however, it's uh, risky because uh, this stuff will catch fire if you leave the heat on too long. The, uh, the spillway part of the weir that's going to carry the water over the rocks, I, I made it too short. My bad. Um, so I have to cut this one off and I'm going to put a new one on and make it a little longer. So I've got the piece here, and I'm gonna cut it square. I'm gonna probably rip it about that length. So there's a couple of ways you can cut this. You can cut this out of table saw, skill saw, band saw, any kind of saw. If it's set to cut wood, it'll cut polyethylene. Or uh, you can try something a little unconventional. Use my Milwaukee Fastback. Milwaukee Fastback is a uh, folding utility knife. <laughs> I love this thing. But what makes this knife so great is that it's really, really durable. And and with this cutout here, it's made to fit a bigger hand like mine. You can grip this knife for maximum strength. So over here, I can put a lot of weight on the knife. And I can make a few passes here. And then I should be able to just snap that. Polyethylene cuts nice and clean. Sure beats digging out a big saw. Anyway, that's the Milwaukee Fastback. Like anything else, not really working with a plan. Like so. I do realize that this is not the same length, but the problem that I was having was that the pump that I was wanting to use didn't quite have enough force to to fill the entire width of this weir. So let's just uh, let's just cut it out of here and call it a day. My plan is to cut this one little strip out here, set this in, weld it in, I think I'm going to use a grinder on that. You can use, like I said, any kind of saw if you like. Grinders are okay. They do tend to, uh, to melt. Well, depending on the type of blade you use. And I'll show you. Right now we've got a, a metal cutting blade. And I'll make a cut with that so that you can see what it does. Throws a lot of dust to start with. It also heats it up. 
but it's okay. It gives it a nice clean cut. The other blade that I use sometimes to cut plastic is a uh, stone cutter blade, a dull stone cutter blade. One of these. This stone cutter blade has lost all of the diamond on it. So it doesn't really cut stone anymore. But I keep it around because even though it doesn't cut stone, it sure cuts plastic. doesn't throw as much dust, it ends up cutting it through. It doesn't really, not a good job. What the heck? Okay, so now I'm gonna just try and peel this. You think that there's a better way to do something? Probably because there is. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take a water brush to that, just to clean that off. Yeah, it seems to be working all right. It's uh, gonna give us a nice finished edge, right? Yeah, I think this stuff here's gotta come off. That'll be all right. So now, I want this piece, I want it to go in here. So once I put this on this way, And that's how I'm going to clamp it. Yep, one there. Okay, so we've got some clamps on it. Let's turn it up here and see. Like I said, I, I've never done this before. And because of that, it's all a new experience. This kind of work is for the fearless. This technique is trial and error. So I'm, I'm filling in the uh, gaps with liquid plastic, and that's going to stick it together. Just like that. Woo! Smells not too bad. You get used to it after a while. Some plastics are toxic. Uh, polyethylene is not. I have a feeling that's gonna hold. I'm gonna give that a few minutes to cool. We're gonna go right up inside here. And we're gonna weld that. This doesn't look pretty. If your plastic is too hot, it's just going to run like water. It's not hot enough. It's not going to actually melt the, the plastic that you're sticking it to. My concern here is just to stick these together for now. And I'll do some actual permanent welding uh, probably tomorrow. Make sure there's no fire. And I really want to let it completely cool down to room temperature before I unclamp it so uh it's a good time for a uh, good time for a coffee